Today we'll review a quick hypertension update. It's not JNC8, but it's the advisory that was released by the AHA, ACC, and CDC on hypertension in November 2013. We'll jump right to the algorithm that was developed for hypertension management. There's more details in the update, and to review these, click on the link in the description below. For stage 1 hypertension, defined as a systolic of 140 to 159 or a diastolic of 90 to 99, Lifestyle modifications should be attempted and thiazides should be considered. The blood pressure should be rechecked in three months. If not at goal, then start a thiazide, ACE inhibitor, ARB, and or a calcium channel blocker. If the patient is already on medication, titrate and or add a drug from a different class. The blood pressure should then be checked in two to four weeks. If still not at goal, optimize the dosages or add medications. Adherence, self-monitoring, and home reading should be reviewed. Secondary causes should be considered at this point and a possible referral to a hypertension specialist. For stage 2 hypertension, defined as a systolic greater than 160 or a diastolic greater than 100, two drugs are preferred in addition to lifestyle modifications. Consider a thiazide plus either an ACE inhibitor, angiotensin receptor blocker, or calcium channel blocker. Alternatively, an ACE inhibitor plus calcium channel blocker can be started. The blood pressure should be checked in two to four weeks. If not at goal, then follow the remainder of the algorithm. Certain medical conditions have suggested medications, traditionally known as compelling indications. For coronary artery disease, beta blockers and ACE inhibitors. For systolic heart failure, ACEs or ARBs, beta blockers, aldosterone antagonists, and thiazides. For diastolic heart failure, ACE inhibitors or ARBs, beta blockers and thiazides. For diabetes, ACEs or ARBs, thiazides, beta blockers, and calcium channel blockers. For kidney disease, ACE inhibitors or ARBs. Or for stroke and TIA, thiazides and ACE inhibitors.